Today I'm going to show you how to rearrange harder formulas. Now, first question, the first thing I'm going to have a look at is I've got something outside the brackets. So the first thing I can do is expand my brackets. So I've got 2x plus a equals 2. b multiplied by x is going to be bx. And b multiplied by negative 2 is going to be negative 2b. Now I need to group all the things that have x in them on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side. So I will take the 2b to the other side. I will add 2b on both sides. I'm going to be left with 2x plus 2b plus a equals to bx. Now I'm going to take this 2x to the other side of the equation because I want all the things that have x in them on one side. I'm going to be left with 2b plus a equals to bx minus 2x. Now to get x alone, x is being multiplied by the bx and the 2x, so I'm going to factorise it by x. I'm going to be left with 2b plus a equals to x bracket bx divided by x is b and minus 2x divided by x is minus 2. Now the x is being multiplied by b minus 2, so you will divide it by b minus 2 on both sides. And your final answer is going to be x equals 2. 2b plus a divided by b minus 2. Okay? All right, next question. Again, I've got x outside the brackets and I've got b outside the brackets. So the only thing I can do is expand. x multiplied by 2 is going to give you 2x. And x multiplied by a is going to give you ax. b multiplied by x is bx. And b multiplied by 3 is 3b. Now, I've got... An x in this, I've got an x in this, and I've got an x in this. So I'm going to subtract the bx and take that away on both sides of the equation. I'm left with 2x plus ax minus bx equals to 3b. Now everything that has x in it is on one side of the equation, so I can factorise it by x. So x bracket 2x divided by x is 2, ax divided by x is a, and minus bx divided by x is minus b. Close the bracket equals to 3b. Now, I can divide it by the bracket 2 plus a minus b because it's being multiplied by x right now. And my final answer is going to be written as x equals to 3b divided by 2 plus a minus b. Okay? All right, next question. A is equal to x plus 4 divided by x plus 2. The only thing you can do is take the denominator to the other side. So it's going to become a bracket x plus 2 is equal to x add 4. I will expand this and I get ax plus 2a equals to x add 4. You want to group all the things with x on one side and everything else on the other side. So you subtract x on both sides. And you get ax plus 2a minus x equals to 4. Now you want to get rid of the 2a, so you subtract 2a on both sides. You get ax minus x equals to 4 minus 2a. You will now factorise it by x. ax divided by x is a, and x divided by x. When you divide something by itself, you get 1. Not 0, not nothing, you get 1. Minus x divided by x is minus 1 equals to 4 minus 2a. Now, it's being multiplied by a minus 1, so you will divide it, and you're left with x equals to 4 minus 2a divided by a minus 1, and that's going to be your final answer, okay? Again, you, will, you have got a equals to x plus c over x minus b. So you will take the denominator to the other side, and you've got a bracket x minus b equals to x add c. You will expand your brackets, you will get ax minus ab equals to x add c. You want to group all the things that have x in them on one side of the equation. So you will take away x on one, this side, ax minus ab minus x equals to c. Then you will add the ab on the other side, so ax minus x equals to c plus ab. You will factorise it by x and you get x bracket a minus 1 equals to c plus ab. You're going to divide it by a minus 1 on both sides. You get x equals to c plus a, b divided by a minus 1. Okay? Now, what to do when a fraction is equal to a fraction? When a fraction is equal to a fraction, you cross multiply. So you're going to divide this denominator by that numerator and this denominator by that numerator. So you are left with a bracket x add 5 equals to b bracket 2x. 
you are going to expand the brackets on both sides of the equation and you get ax plus 5a equals to 2bx. You want to group the x's on one side, so you will subtract 2bx on both sides and you get ax minus 2bx add 5a equals to 0 because there was nothing left on that side. You will take away 5a on both sides of the equation and you're going to get ax minus 2bx equals to negative 5a. You'll factorize it by x, so you get x bracket a minus 2b equals to negative 5a. And you will divide it by a minus 2b on both sides of the equation. So x equals to negative 5a divided by a minus 2b. Okay? Last example. I will take the denominator to the other side and expand it. So a bracket 2x minus 3 equals to 4 plus 2bx. Expand this bracket. So you get 2ax minus 3a equals to 4 plus 2bx. You want to group the x's on one side. So you will take the 3a over. So 2ax equals to 4 add 2bx add 3a. You will take away 2bx on both sides, so 2ax minus 2bx equals to 4 add 3a. You will factorise it by x, so x bracket 2a minus 2b is equal to 4 add 3a. And then you will divide it by 2a minus 2b on both sides, and you get x equals to 4 plus 3a divided by 2a minus 2b. And now x is the subject of the equation, okay? So having a look at all of these examples, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six examples. All right, so have a go at this challenge question, pause the video and unpause to go through the answer. First, I'm gonna, I want to get rid of the fractions in each section. So to get rid of the A, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, to get rid of the A, I'll multiply each section by A. This will cancel out, I'm left with one equals to A over B plus A over C. Then I'll multiply each subsection by B, and, I'll, and this will cancel out. I'll be left with B equals to A plus AB over C. Then I'll multiply each section by C, and this will cancel out. I'll be left with BC equals to AC plus AB. Now I just need to rearrange it. I've got no fractions left. I just need to rearrange it to make B the subject of the equation. So I'll subtract this on both sides. I will be left with BC minus AB equals to AC. I will factorise it by B, so B bracket C minus A equals to AC. Then I will divide it by C minus A on both sides of the equation. I will be left with B equals to AC divided by C minus A. And now B is the subject of this equation. Okay? Thank you.